Hotels are shutting down left and right in Syracuse. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Lauren Holdmeyer. And I'm Caitlin Campbell. Last week, a third hotel announced it will be closing its doors early next month. Our Jude Bazerman has more on what community members can expect with all these closures. Jude, what's going on? Good evening, Lauren and Caitlin. Yeah, the Mayflower Hotel, its last day will be open, is November 11th. But it isn't the only hotel closing in the city of Syracuse. Both the Crown Plaza and the Sheraton shut its doors earlier this year. And what these three hotels have in common is that they're all becoming or have become student housing or apartments. And while many feel that the city of Syracuse is to blame for all these closures, that might not exactly be the case. Um, I think one, each one's on a case by case. It's certainly not because Syracuse as a city is underperforming because we are not tourism is at historic levels. The more tourism and less hotel rooms for visitors will have a significant impact on room rates in Syracuse. It's basic economics. Uh, um, the demand is up. Uh, the supply is down. So the price will go up. No question about it. Um, I, again, I think it's short term pain for long term gain. And that long-term gain that Leidke is referring to is the reconstruction of ID1. He expects more hotels to open up in the near future, both because the city will improve because of the project and because that there will be more room for hotels and more demand as well once the project is completed. And for the meantime, though, there's going to be more than 600 hotel rooms that won't be available for consumers, more than 20% of its current stock. Lauren, Caitlin, back to you guys.